Hey everybody, Pat Petrillo here. Welcome to Secrets from the Pros. And I wanna show you a fill-in uh, that I use quite a bit that I first sort of saw Tony Williams do at a PASIC clinic, oh, back in the, mm -hmm, back in the day. Uh, but I watched him from behind and he was very uh, uh, adept at, at, at orchestrating things between his cymbals and his toms quite a bit. So this is sort of kind of what he did, but then I've kind of did a little bit something different with it. And it, um, instead of a standalone fill of, okay, I'm gonna do a beat, and now here's this flashy fill and then back to the beat. I like to incorporate some rhythmic filling in around a beat. So what I'm doing here is uh, orchestrating between the ride and the floor tom. So quite simply, I'm doing uh, 16th notes, and I'm gonna play the first one with the ride and the bass drum together, the second 16th note to the floor tom like this. So that's the primary focus of what we're trying to do, fill in the tom around a beat, okay? So we can turn this into a feeling of uh, five note groupings, okay? And although we're gonna stay in four four, it feels like we're again playing in a different uh, time signature, but we're not. So here is, here is the fill in pattern that I'm gonna use and it's five note groupings of 16th notes and three note groupings of 16th notes. Here it is slow. So incorporating the symbols in with your toms in your fill creates a whole nother aspect of phrasing and opens the door. So now on those notes in between, we can orchestrate the left hand up to the rag toms like this. It's a really cool uh, rhythmic orchestration, but the groove is still going. So it, you don't stop the feel of the time that's riding through your beat. Now you can do those and drop those into many different places uh, using the five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three. You just gotta kind of do the math and make them all fit together. So now that you know the essential concept of what I'm working on here, what I'm doing, I'm also gonna mix up between this crash and this tom. Okay, let's just play around with it a little bit. Here we go. There you have it, there's a cool little fill in uh, using the symbols and the toms, incorporating more of a phrase as opposed to a lick. Hope you like that. 
And uh, come on back to Secrets from the Pros. I'm Pat Petrillo. See you soon.